Awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Wagner. I know that you are very busy. I know you have a, an amazing, successful practice. We've actually spent a lot, uh, quite a bit of time on uh, YouTube looking at your videos. And oh. I know you and I have met at trade shows and you have been a long time a supporter of our company. So just wanted to personally thank you. So thank you so much, Dr. Wagner. appreciate it. So uh, I love your company. Uh, I've always, since I was, uh, for 50 years, I've been prescribing, oh, well, way before you guys started, I hunted out and found green papaya capsules. I have always used tropical um, products that nobody else ever used. I'd have people eat papaya every day. That's one of my standards. And so when you came along, that kind of fulfilled everything. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. You know, we started as Herbal, uh, Herbal Papaya in 2013. And now mm -hmm. we've expanded to all kinds of things. But I, I do love tropical. My background is, uh, I grew up in Nigeria and West Africa. So I grew, the, I, eat, I ate those things growing up. So mm -hmm. uh, just very excited to be able to introduce it to a wide audience and help to educate people about the nutritional benefits. Oh. But if you don't mind, I'll jump right into it. I okay. know you had a chat with Jerry. Uh, Misha has reached out. Lorraine, of course, Lolo has been with us since the beginning. So yeah, just really thank you. So we're really trying to capture a testimonial. Um, of course, before we post anything on our website or use it, we will get your approval. But really, we were trying to capture a testimonial from you. So if you would just really share, um, really honestly, I would have loved to say, hey, a little bit about your background and then your, you know, your herbal goodness products that you have found that you've used and how they've benefited your your audience okay well first of all uh i'm 75 years old i've been in practice 45 years uh i owned health food stores prior to that i was a major health food person i had four health food stores i know all products um it's not like a doctor who just studies that. I was in the health food business. Before that, I was in the gym business. And so I've been what you call a physical culturist. Yeah. And that is a very rare thing today. It's a person who can give advice on any area of life, not just chiropractic, not just a specific area. Uh, I was partners with Jack Lane, the famous um, physical culturist. Uh, he was on TV for 34 years, the longest running show. And <clears throat> So that's how I started. And when I found chiropractic, I added that to the whole thing and then put it all together. Mm. So one of my greatest things to do uh, is to set people for free. So I work to find the cause, not just treat, not just give therapy. And I have a natural pharmacy here, uh, lots and lots of products of which <clears throat> when I found your company, probably the first year you were around, yeah. Uh, I immediately gravitated to it. I loved it just from the feel of it. I've been carrying it ever since. Each one of those, uh, I use it maybe differently than maybe even you do. Um, I use it for, um, for instance, uh, the guava leaf is for sleep and you know and blood sugar and so forth, but I may use it to detoxify acids. Uh, I may balance organs or acupuncture meridians with it. Uh, I love the, um, the papaya leaf, of course, because I fixed quite a few people with, uh, with uh, platelet problems. Not that I get a lot, but I get enough. And that dramatically changes things. Uh, so all around, it's one of my stalwarts of the office. And I have hundreds and hundreds, if not a thousand products. Mm. Wow, so that's, that's my history. I have... Um, it's really more than 45 years because I work 60 hours a week. I'm always here. I work six days, sometimes seven. The last month I've worked two seven day weeks. Nothing can be better than this. And on my days off, I treat horses. So, uh, so, because I'm an avid horseback person. That is so. amazing. That's okay, Dr. Wagner, you look amazing for 75. You look amazing. You have to tell us your secret. Um, I know that you are into, you know, natural herbs, and um, 
but what is your secret for staying so young, so strong? So, I mean, you're still working full time, going full speed. Well, um, I train, number one, I work out. Okay. I don't do aerobics because I think that wears you out. Okay. Uh, I do intense uh, resistant exercise to failure. I may even do 50 sets in an hour to failure. Very few people could do that. Um, and I include in there a lot of balance things, a lot of coordination things. So that's really good. Number two, you have to have a hobby that you really love. I love horses. Mm. I love riding uh, mountains. I love riding hard and off trail. So that's two, good, right? Yes. And then you have to love your profession. And I love, I love what I do so much. I, or 10, 12 hour days. That's amazing. Um, people don't understand how I have so much energy. Now, this is not natural inborn. Everybody in my family in the father's line died before age 50 of heart disease for five generations. Wow. Um, so it's inherent for me to not live long. I've had to work at it. I was super unhealthy as a child. Mm -hmm. Asthma, bronchitis, mm -hmm. weak bones, everything you can possibly imagine. And I built myself just like Jacqueline did. I don't make any mistakes. Mm. I don't eat desserts. Mm. Um, I never eat something that I know I'm not supposed to. I eat to perform. I work out to perform. I don't necessarily eat for pleasure. I eat to perform because I have to stay well to heal people and get them, you know, get them fixed. Wow. I so love that's what that. I do. I love that. Do what you love. Find a great hobby. Um, and then physical exercise, not general, no, doesn't have yeah. to be a robot, um, a, 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 um, aerobics, but you generally treat your body to perform, not really just for fun or for pleasure. Yeah. So Dr. Wagner, in your opinion or your experience, what are the most, what are the fundamental things that people have to pursue in order to, you know, improve their health and wellness? So if somebody walks in and they are unhealthy, what's the first thing that you generally, uh, what, what are some of the fundamental things? Um, because we believe in food as medicine, at herbal goodness. I truly believe that we are what we eat. Um, yeah. Um, and, and then I also believe in the, you know, the, the mind body connection. So I know that even beyond food, there's yeah. things that you should do, but if somebody walks in and they're looking for some help, what is your first, what do you initially talk to? I have a pretty good, I have a pretty good system yes. and this is, they come in, it doesn't matter. There's something I have to first figure out if their brain is working, if that brain has been disconnected from their body, because everything comes down to communication. That's all there is. If your jaw does not know what your hip's doing, then you're not you're going to have pain forever. If your if your brain doesn't know your shoulders, there it doesn't know. And this always happens from accidents and traumas, surgeries, anesthetic vaccines. So I have to determine which one of those, and I I make a priority. The brain comes first. So I fixed the brain as fast as I can. I wrote a 370 page book on how to do it. Mm. And so when I get that generally working pretty good, taking care of their traumas, I switch to the organs, their glands, their hormones, their immune system, their blood supply, their lymphatic flow, their acupuncture greens, their chi force. And I put all that together and I find their weakest place. So we'll just make it up. Let's say it's kidney. Okay. We'll just make it up. Okay. And I've already fixed the brain. I've fixed some structural things, fixed their posture. Then I have to look for the products that would work. Mm -hmm. What work? And also, what are they doing in their life mm -hmm. that hurts their kidney? Mm -hmm. You're only as good as your weakest link. And that has to be found. The other things don't matter. It's the weakest link. So then uh, I look to see what are, what are they doing mm -hmm. wrong? And sometimes... Everything they're doing is wrong. <laughs> Everything they eat is wrong. They've been educated wrong. Um, so then, then from that point, I start testing products to see what has the greatest beneficial effect on them. And yours is part of my big collection, but I love, I love yours. 
because I started out healing everybody with papaya. I remember even having a man, a very famous man, who had seizures, and I put him on four to five papayas a day and papaya juice, and it cured his seizures. And so I just didn't have any products uh, until you kind of, you came along. Thank you so much, Dr. Wagner. That means a huge lot to, to us. Um, just your stamp of approval. Um, I know you know this. We take quality very seriously. I take quality. This is personal for me. Uh, it's a very personal journey for me. Um, I'm excited about sharing health and well-being because I've also healed myself, uh, just mm -hmm. all kinds of things. Um, where I'll go to a doctor, they say, take this pill for the rest of your life. And you just, you know, just keep digging, digging and being curious. What am I eating uh, that yeah. is giving me indigestion and heartburn? And once you find the root of it and you take it away, voila, it all goes away. So for me, it's very personal. Um, you really, you know, so I really, really appreciate you saying that. Um, in terms of how you've experienced our company, Herbal Goodness, um can you share anything good bad you know feedback what could we do better <laughs> how how have we come across not just the products because we're really we're really focused on quality when it comes mm -hmm. to products quality is big for us but also impact sustainability but even customers how have you experienced us and you know please feel free to give me mm -hmm. very honest feedback okay so when i started my health food stores there were no whole foods there were no large big companies everything was small i knew every company i knew the owners of every company i knew their products by heart i knew their prices people wouldn't believe what i could know uh what was on the shelf what wasn't on the shelf i had an inventory in my head and so you would go to a health show and maybe there'd be 500 companies there wasn't many more than that <laughs> nowadays there's four thousand, and you can't possibly look at it so the difference between as i think of your company is the way i started out i know you i can call you i get really good personable answers uh i know your heart is in the product the product is your heart mm. so that is very unique in a big corporation and many times i have to buy products from a big corporation because there's no other way to buy it and I just have to accept reality. But when I have a small company that has what I want and I can talk to them and ask them questions, um, that's like a super blessing. And that doesn't happen hardly any time anymore. It's a, it's a rare thing. And the people coming up in the health food business now, they don't even know those days. So, um, that's why I, I, I like your company. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, so that, that really, really speaks to us. Um, I know that we're fast, fast spent on time, but um, knowing what you know now, Dr. Wagner, could you rewind, and if you could rewind um, the clock about 30 years or so, what will you tell people, you know, your clients, what, what, what do you tell them? Are we eating wrong? Are we processing food wrong? Are we too stressed? Um, is it that we're losing community? Why are we heading in the wrong direction with health? Well, in most cases, uh, I believe in emergency medicine. I mean, they saved my life, they've saved everybody's lives, okay? Yes. They're the greatest doctors. Yes. But to seek after healthcare from medicine, and the medical profession for chronic problems, that's gonna be a failure to begin with. Mm -hmm. And so to find a natural doctor, a doctor that whether it's an MD, a naturopath, a chiropractor, somebody who, and stay with them, stay with the program from that time on. And if you have to change doctors to, for a little more knowledge, then that's fine. But if you stay with them, mm -hmm then you will be guided to the right things. My average patient, well, at my age, takes eight to 12 medications a day. That's poison in them. Uh, they have no concept of how to eat, how to drink, what to do, what, how to exercise. And most people don't exercise. 
They don't move. They don't train their coordination system. They don't train their balance system. I do balance exercises every day because the number one thing is falling. When people get past 60, they fall. So um, I've lost your... No, I'm here. I'm oh, right okay. here. Okay, good, good. So um, that's the main thing. And then learn and uh, don't, for simple things, don't run and take a medicine. Find the herb, find the dietary change. It is always, always a choice somebody's making. They might be eating something every day thinking it's healthy or it's an addiction. And you just, and what I do is I spend time asking a million questions until I get to the bottom line. And then I find it. That's and um, then I, I, I always do kinesiological testing to see if it's true though, and if it's bothering them. That's amazing. And if it is, then, they, then there's their choice. But that's what everybody has to do. That's amazing. Balance, exercise, proper herbal formulas, and go to a nutritionist or somebody that knows what he's doing That's and learn how to be healthy. It's a learning process. Nobody's naturally healthy. Yeah. That doesn't exist. Yeah. Unless you just happen to be born in a culture where everything was right, but it wasn't by choice. It just happened to be that way. Yes. Yes, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. There are some yeah. cultures that are a little healthier than others. Um, yeah. You know, I can tell you growing up in Africa, there was fewer processed food. So by default, you ate food off the trees, off your vegetable garden. You grew pretty, okay. everything was growing organic. So yeah. only in the last few years have we started using, you know, chemical fertilizers and, you know, importing. Yeah, um, yeah so, so, that, uh, so that, that definitely speaks to me. How, what do you think is so effective about the papaya leaf extract? Um, we know, if you can explain to me, and I will be very honest, when we started to sell papaya, I grew up eating papayas every day. We ate it after meals because we knew it was great for digestion. And we have pregnant women sit in a sit bath with papaya um, leaves because apparently it helps with labor pains. I don't know how that works. Only after we found that herbal papaya did people start calling in and telling us about the platelets. So this, we stumbled upon platelet, papaya leaf helping with platelet support. Um, and, then, um, and then of course with digestion and immune system. But do you know why papaya <laughs> works so well for boosting platelets and immunity and digestion? How does it work? I don't, um, I'm not a scientist, <laughs> so I don't know why. I do know that when I do my testing, it tests out super effective, and that's what I go by. I, I don't know, the, I can't answer those questions. I just know that it works. <laughs> All right, we're in the same boat, Dr. Wagner. I've tried to, I've tried to answer it. I know that papaya have, has the enzyme um, papain, I know yeah. it's the enzyme fibrin. Fibrin is an enzyme that helps to um, helps your blood to clot um, and helps the spleen to be more, maybe cleans out the spleen. I'm assuming, and the spleen is supposed to be the center of where you manufacture platelets. Right, right. So, but that's, frankly, I haven't, I don't have the scientific, uh, you know, knowledge to, to say that. Um, Dr. Wagner, what other product of ours of herbal goodness do you use? And how would you, you know, yeah. Well, I have always used your papaya, the papaya leaf. Uh, I have the guava leaf. I have the guava extract leaf. Uh, some people like the flavoring. I'm trying to figure out how to use the guava leaf. How many do you use for the sleep thing? I don't know. Um, you might be able to help me. I use the graviola, although I think you have a lot of uses for the graviola that I don't know about, and I'd like to know about it. You know, I use it for cough, and I use it for people who run down, but I think there's more things to it. Yes, there definitely yeah. is. The graviola is supposed, there's a lot of research, actually, probably more research than any product that we sell. Um, yeah. It helps with cell reconstruction. 
um, cell rejuvenation. So, and then it helps with um, killing the cells that are multiplying, um, that have gone rogue. Oh, okay. So when you have cell multiplication that has gone rogue, it tends to stop that, uh, that, that process very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, again, I'm not a scientist. I haven't studied it. It's a herb. Uh, so um, that's, right. yeah. So that's as much as we do. Well, I'm going to start using it for that. Uh, I find most people have a spleen deficiency in our country anyway, because of their diet. <clears throat> and so now I know that these things work on that. Yes. I, yes. I never had anybody tell me that. <clears throat> yes. So thank you for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, um, one more question. Um, how would you would you um, make a statement about endorsing herbal goodness as a company as an you know would you be able to make that sort of statement and say hey herbal goodness I've yeah. used you guys for a long time? I think every natural doctor should carry your full line. Mm -hmm. I think it should be one of their primary things on the shelf. I can't imagine having my pharmacy without this. This is like a key factor, and so. Every doctor, and I know very few doctors probably even know you exist, but they should investigate and put it on there and try it, and they're going to see a big change. Thank you so much, Dr. Wagner. That means okay. the world to us. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, we okay. really appreciate it. Um, I don't have any more questions. Do you have questions for me? I, I think, let me see. Oh, let's see. My team sent a couple of questions. If you choose three things to communicate, oh, we've asked that. I really just had an, a, a conversation. Um, one more question, Dr. Wagner. If you were able to design and launch your own dietary supplement product, what would, it, what would be your top three? What would be the one product that yeah. I would, well, you already make it, uh, uh, green papaya capsules. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> so, okay, we really appreciate it. So we are your favorite, we're your favorite basket. So we appreciate that. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah, Doctor Wanda, okay. do you have any questions for me? Anything that you wanted to chat about? No, I'm going to start studying more about the things you've discovered about it, so I can expand what I try it on. Sure, and we're happy to send you what we found um, by okay. our own research. So we'll, we'll be happy okay. to do that. Yeah. Good. Well, thank you so much. Okay. I